What's going on, Born for Sports? The NFL draft is over and our New York Giants have added to the staff of the roster. And um, I got to say, um, I, I like this draft. I'm not saying that I'm blown away by it as far as like it's an A-plus draft. Uh, only because Joe Shane couldn't get our quarterback, couldn't get our franchise quarterback. But I do not fault Joe Shane for that. Absolutely, he tried to jump up, trade up. But you know what? The Patriots didn't want to bite. They like Drake May as well. And you know, it is what it is. I applaud Joe Shane for not over overdrafting a quarterback because he couldn't get his guy. I applaud him for that because there's only one thing worse than having a, a quarterback on your roster that you know is not the franchise that's injury prone and, and is in going to year six that isn't gotten better. It's overdrafting a quarterback prospect that doesn't deserve to get the opportunity to, to become the franchise quarterback. And I felt like what was left, you know, J.J. McCarthy, I wasn't a fan, too big a fan of making him the franchise quarterback. Not a sixth overall, hell no. Michael Penix, I like him, but to me, too high to be drafting him that high, you know, to be giving the keys to him like that, you know, and any of the other, Cabal Knicks, give me a break. All these guys, no. I think Joe Shane did the right thing, and he pivoted and got one of the top uh, elite prospects in this draft, Malik Neighbors, wide receiver one, and, and you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm not going to say that Neighbors will be better than him, but... There's potential that it could be, he could be better than him or or maybe even or close to him because Malik Neighbors, he is a baller. He is a baller. Run after catch, elite speed, you know, tough physical player. Um, reminds me a lot of Stefan Diggs um, when he was when on Buffalo, you know, Stefan Diggs. This guy can play and, you know, there's a lot of scouts that felt like that maybe he might be the top receiver in this draft. We'll see down the road with that. Obviously, we got to get this kid a quarterback. He's going to be the number one focal point of this offense going forward, and we have to give him a franchise quarterback down the road. But that's a story for another day. So I love this pick, Malik Neighbors. That's an A-plus pick. He might be the top player in the draft in another three or four years said to be when it's all said and done. So good job by Joe Shane. Not not overdrafting and taking the best player available and getting your wide receiver one. Now, our second round pick, Newbin. I love this pick, too. I do. Because he, he's the top safety in the draft. He's a ball hawk. Played on one of the best defenses in, in, in the country the last few years. Okay? He can tackle. He's a physical player. Um, he's a leader. And I think he's going to fit very well. You know, a lot of fans were kind of like, why do we take a safety? Da, da, da. Well, there was a big run on, on corners before we the Giants could pick. And remember, guys, two second round picks coming into the offseason. One of them was used to trade to get Brian Burns. Um, you got to make that trade. He's one of the best pass rushers in football. OK, so um, when you see all these corners coming off the board, hey, listen, you know, we don't have a lot of draft capital left to to make those kind of moves. So, you know, Shane stood pat, waited, waited, and he got a good player. He got the top safety in the draft, who's a damn good ball player. He's a baller. This kid can play. He's physical. And I think a lot of Giant fans are going to come to really like this kid. I really do. You know, and then this and this is a scheme fit pick as well. It's what you guys got to understand, too, because. Uh, Bowen, the new defensive coordinator, there's been a lot of talk in the offseason. He really needs good safety play to make the scheme work in the back end. So, you know, I'm pretty sure Joe Shane uh, was was very happy to do that and get that for the for the new coordinator. So good pick. I give this I give this a B plus pick right here. I do. Now, the third round pick um, is a little shaky, a little shaky with me. Um, uh, the, the corner from Kentucky. Um, you know, I really feel like he is going to be one of those players that we either look back as, wow, he was better than we thought he was. Good job by this coach that's developing or, eh, you know, maybe maybe we overdrafted him a little bit. Um, he's a physical player. Uh, he, he's a good coverage guy. He can he can he can cover, you know, but sometimes he's a little handsy and he's going to have to work on that in the NFL. He's going to have to work on that. Uh uh, the corner, you know, so, um, I feel like, I feel like, um, the problem with him, in my opinion is, is that he's a little too, too handsy. And also 
He gives me Will Allen vibes. He, he his 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 uh, playmaking ability to finish on plays bothers me. It, it gives me Will Allen vibes. For those Giant fans, I know remember Will Allen. Do you remember him? A guy that that would get burned in the wrong time, but but play pretty good coverage. But then when the opportunities are there, he could never finish and get interceptions and things like that. So they'll work on his ball skills. Obviously, the staff thinks they, there's something there. So we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens with Jones. Um, also, my my uh, biggest day three favorite pick was Theo Johnson, the tight end. Absolutely love this pick. Remind me of Darren Waller. Uh, early in the day yesterday, I was I had I had uh, put on social media before the draft started that um, I'm intrigued by this kid and I would love for the Giants to get a tight end because Darren Waller effing around about retirement is rubbing me the wrong way. I hope he makes a decision and or just get the hell out of here because if you're not if you're not in, just go. You know, so this kid Theo Johnson can play. He didn't have a great passing game quarterback there, but he can play. He's got a lot of talent. A lot of talent, you know, and he reminds me of Darren Waller with his skill set. And I really think that under Brian Dable, who loves his tight ends, I think this kid is going to be a guy that's going to develop and can really, truly get better and improve as a player. And, um, you know, I love this pick. I love the value of this pick. I thought he was going to be taken way earlier. I didn't think no, lo no lower than the third round. Some people had him in the second round and we got him in the fourth round. Man, great value pick right there. Great job by uh, Joe Shane, and I know this coaching staff is eager to work with him. Brian Dave was going to work some magic with that kid because he, he can play. Um, also, Tracy, the running back out of Purdue. Um, this guy could be a sleeper. We don't know. Could be a sleeper. You know, um, this guy used to be a receiver. He came in. He came into college as a receiver. They converted him to running back. So he, right there, that shows you that he has third down back ability. To possibly develop to a third down back in this league. Um, but um, he had a pretty good year, you know, and I'm seeing a, a lot of highlights and stuff that I, I seen from him. And, you know, there's something there, you know, and with the new kickoff and punt return rules, uh, special teams is about to make a comeback this year, um, this year with these rules. So they're back in place. So as a Giant fan, we know our return game has been basically inept for a long time now. OK, so if this kid can can become a threat, maybe could possibly help us win a game, a game this season. Never know. And possibly develop this up to a third down back. Good job. Could be a real nice change of pace back down the road with Singletary. You never know. So we'll see how that goes. Um, there was a linebacker taken in the sixth round. Uh, Malalo. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I don't know much about him. Um, Shane was kind of happy to get him. Probably a special teams guy. So all in all, I I like the draft. I would give this draft a B. And the only reason why I didn't give it a B plus is because we couldn't get our, our franchise quarterback. I don't blame Shane for that. I like the fact that uh, he tried to trade up. He was aggressive enough, and it just couldn't work because New England had no no intentions really of of uh, coming off that third pick because they wanted Drake May. So good job by Shane, not um overdrafting for a quarterback that didn't deserve to be there. And I like what the Giants did. So we'll see what happens if this is these uh, guys can develop and really help this team going forward. One thing's for sure, Shane is putting his stamp on this roster now. So going forward, let's see how it goes. Like and subscribe to Born for Sports. Let's go Giants, baby.